So for the past several years, we've had our teams working with the singular purpose of defining and building the next generation of Mac. And at the core of this effort is the silicon. If there's a singular thing that the last 20 plus years have taught us, is that humanity is able to do incredible things with computer technology. Just as important though, is that they're able to go and advance that technology in ways that few people actually expect. To the extent that companies like Apple are able to take major leaps in certain technologies, that changes how we look at things as a whole. A great example of this is a brand new microchip that they're creating that they feel could be the true next level tech in certain ways. So allow us to show you an inside look at Apple's new M1 chip. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The Apple M1 chip. So what is the device that Apple is hoping will change the tech world? That would be the Apple M1 chip. And they're very high on this chip as you are about to see. Here's how Apple defines it. Our first chip designed specifically for Mac, it delivers incredible performance, custom technologies, and revolutionary power efficiency. And it was designed from the very start to work with the most advanced desktop operating system in the world, Mac OS Big Sur. With a giant leap in performance per watt, every Mac with M1 is transformed into a completely different class of product. This isn't an upgrade, it's a breakthrough. Apple wouldn't make these kinds of claims if they didn't believe in it with all that they had and truly felt that it was a true breakthrough, as they alluded to. There was more for them to say on the matter though, including why it was indeed such a special chip. Until now, a Mac needed multiple chips to deliver all of its features, including the processor, I.O. security, and memory. With M1, these technologies are combined into a single system on a chip, delivering a new level of integration for more simplicity, more efficiency, and amazing performance. And with incredibly small transistors measured at an atomic scale, M1 is remarkably complex, packing the largest number of transistors we've ever put into a single chip. It's also the first personal computer chip built using industry-leading 5 nanometer process technology. But just how complex is this chip? It has 16 billion transistors in it. Yeah. That's a lot in a small chip, and this is just the start of what it can do. Memory There are many aspects of computers that need improving and finessing as technology evolves, and the memory power of the computer is an example of that, and the M1 chip is going to be a dual threat in terms of making sure the memory of a computer is used to its fullest. M1 also features our Unified Memory Architecture, or UMA. M1 unifies its high bandwidth, low latency memory into a single pool within a custom package. As a result, all of the technologies in the SoC can access the same data without copying it between multiple pools of memory. This dramatically improves performance and power efficiency. Video apps are snappier, games are richer and more detailed, image processing is lightning fast, and your entire system is more responsive. Now that is something that a lot of people will appreciate, especially since you hear about how people are constantly trying to outfit their gaming computers to be as in peak terms of performance as possible. If this chip does as it's promised in regards to memory, Apple will have a major leg up and will likely welcome gamers to try out their new computers that feature this chip so they can get the best video gaming experience, among others who also need memory for their work of course. CPU Performance Ask any computer wizard and they'll tell you that there is a big difference between CPU power and CPU performance. If you can't have one or the other, you need both to get the best result. Apple knew that when they made their M1 chip. The 8-core CPU in M1 is by far the highest performance CPU we've ever built. Designed to crush tasks using the least amount of power, M1 features two types of cores, high performance and high efficiency. So from editing family photos to exporting iMovie videos for the web, to managing huge raw libraries in Lightroom, to checking your email, M1 blazes right through it all, without blazing through battery life. M1 features four performance cores, each designed to run a single task as efficiently as possible while maximizing performance. Our high-performance core is the world's fastest CPU core when it comes to low-power silicon. And because M1 has four of them, multi-threaded workloads take a huge leap in performance as well. M1 has four efficiency cores that handle lighter workloads. They use a tenth of the power while still delivering outstanding performance. These E-cores are the most efficient place to run lightweight tasks, allowing the performance cores to be used for your most demanding workflows. So yeah, it can do a lot to make performances as efficient as possible. The Graphical Power Apple had a lot more to say about the true graphical power of this chip, and their words definitely put things into perspective. Typically, PCs have to use discrete chip to get great graphic performance, which consumes a lot of power, but M1 is different. Its integrated graphics bring the best of both worlds, a huge increase in graphics and performance together with low power consumption. The result of years of thorough analysis of Mac applications, the GPU in M1 is the most advanced graphics processor we've ever built. 
with up to eight GPU cores, M1 is capable of executing nearly 25,000 threads at a time. From teraflops to texture bandwidth to fill rate to power efficiency, this GPU is in a class of its own and brings the world's fastest integrated graphics into a personal computer. Now this is perfect for people who use their computers for various things and want the best graphics possible for various reasons. They'll be able to see all of the tiniest details to allow them to go and do what they want and know that they have the best look no matter what, which Apple is no doubt banking on as their computers are known to be friendly to content creators. And this chip will make them even more endearing to those users. Number three, machine learning. Interestingly enough, the Apple M1 chip has the ability to learn and perform even better as time goes on. Apple had a lot to say on this as well. M1 features our latest neural engine. It's a 16-core design capable of executing a massive 11 trillion operations per second. In fact, with a powerful 8-core GPU, machine learning accelerators, and the neural engine, the entire M1 chip is designed to excel at machine learning. Final Cut Pro can intelligently frame a clip in fraction of the time. Pixelmator Pro can magically increase sharpness and detail at incredible speeds, and every app with ML-powered feature benefits from performance never before seen on Mac. Now, you might not think about this kind of thing when you buy a Mac, but when you start tinkering away on your programs, yeah, you're going to feel it no doubt, and you're going to be glad that this chip is in your computer as you continue to make things in record time without much redoing because of technical issues. Battery Life when it comes to battery life on laptops and Macs, they aren't always the best. And when you're working on it a lot, you don't want to go and charge it up every 30 minutes or an hour. Thankfully, with this new chip, you apparently won't have to worry about that. M1 extends battery life even while bringing a massive increase in performance. But the chip itself is only part of this incredible power efficiency story. Mac OS Big Sur features advanced power management that intelligently allocates tasks between the M1 performance and efficiency cores automatically optimizing for lightweight tasks like reading a note or performance-intensive tasks like playing the latest game. The result is the best battery life ever on a Mac. This is just another element where Apple wouldn't make it if they couldn't back it up. And all that but guarantees that consumers will buy these new models because they will want excellent battery life on their laptops. What the M1 chip means overall. So now that you've seen a good breakdown of this M1 chip, let's ask a basic question. Is this truly something revolutionary that can change how Macs perform? Based on all that we've heard, the answer would appear to be yes. This chip really is the end-all be-all, for now, when it comes to CPUs. Apple really did outdo themselves with this one. They looked at it from every angle and did their best to make sure it could do everything that you would expect. Whether it's from just having a more powerful CPU, to having the ability to process data faster, to dealing with graphics and making sure they pop, and of course, maintaining the best battery life ever for a Mac. Now it's true there could be some drawbacks overall, but in truth, we think Apple might be onto something here that could truly change computer tech for the better. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the M1 chip from Apple and all that they say and feel it can do for their technology? Are you impressed by the various specs of the microchip and how it gets certain activities done? Which parts of it do you personally find the most fascinating? And do you also feel that this is a game changer as Apple does? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.